Hello and welcome to Goddess 1.3. As you can see, this is the first time I've opened the game uh, since the update. It's updated approximately 20 minutes ago, which is sort of been a little busy AFK. Uh, the game has literally been like running for the last 15 minutes or so. <laughs> so. Uh, as you can see it as, as part of improving the beta balancing we have made some changes to your home world. Please take a look around. You have the option to restart your home world if you wish. Thank you for your support. Now the strange thing was as I opened the game uh, I heard buildings being squished, demolished, broken up or whatever. I thought Huh? Obviously I can't have a look yet until I press continue. Uh, you, you can't zoom in or out. So. Let us click continue. Uh. Oh! What the? What's happened to my population? Uh, <laughs> anyone that's watched my previous video to this, which was the last one before the uh, the update, I had reached 3,000 followers. I appear to have lost about a thousand of those. Now, apparently, it's going from 2,108 to 2,600, whereas before it went to 2500. Okay. Now, what do you think of your home world? Well, let me have a look first. Um, is That looks the same. Oh, hello, we've got a chest down there. Already un <laughs> uncovered. That's handy. Um, the shrines appear to have changed. We uh, come across it as you can see there. The shrines have changed. Uh, you've got what looks like three cards above them there. Because this one, this is just a. Sh oh, that was the shrine of power. That's right. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. So that's a shrine of power. Ah, I think what it is, it, it it's more of an indication of what. That is, as you can see there, that represents land because yeah, you've got different layers of land. You've got different layers on top of a shrine, which, as you can see, is shrine expansion. Okay, ah, that's quite handy. So you, you know, there does appear to be uh, <laughs> a few resource cards about. There's a couple there. Uh, I notice there's one under there. There's there was one. Just over there, which unfortunately it looks like I will have to demolish. Oh, so this is another one down there. I just noticed. Yep, there it is. Okay, so let's uh, just have a brief look around. There's a chest there I can see just sneaking through. There's another one there. Uh, some of these new cards will be to do with um, with farming. I'm guessing because farming is basically now available. Uh, looks like there's uh Oh, hello. That doesn't look, look like uh, <laughs> got a bit excited there, I couldn't even speak properly. That doesn't look like a chest. That looks like a some kind of barrel. And there's another one there. I think one of the reasons they're asking if you want to restart is because it seems they have uh, stuck a lot of uh resource cards and stuff underneath where you've got the bones. But, you know, you can just dig them up and rebuild. 
Uh, apparently one of the fixes was... Ah, there you go. The statue on the Temple of... Tem temple of Fertility! <laughs> it is actually on the temple now. It used to flout just above it, if you... If you ever noticed in a previous video. Um, wow! Check up my houses, man! Ooh! Days got like two days. So what's that about? Oh, it's a cabin now. Oh, a cabin in MGville. Ooh. Oh, right then. And what was what was that about? Uh, look. So why has it got a big? circle around the edge there and then as I bring it back in it shrinks in hmm. wow god damn I know it said something about abodes being updated but uh, that's another cabin okay. not sure why that would be a cabin and that would be a cabin because the blue roofed ones, they're just rank 2. And these are rank 3. Right. You know, I'm, I'm sure there must be death. Oh, you're not doing anything, I'm like, yeah, can't you hear me talking? Talking loud enough. <laughs> I don't shout, but I talk loud enough. Uh oh, okay. So anyway, back to it. Sorry for the brief pause there. Um no, right, so there for some reason the shrine has to be in a bit of a dip. Okay. Uh, at the moment I've not seen any ma oh well <laughs> not seen any major significant uh changes. Except for big gaping holes in my landscape there. Uh, alright. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why there are now flags on the, the abode, so I really should have read uh, <laughs> the YouTube. Come on, really? A couple of holes? What the? What's this? What's this? Really? What the? What's this bit of land? Uh, come on, people! Just update the thing. Uh, what's happened to my town? It's been changed into a little beautified small abode. <laughs> Do you think this is why they give you the option of restarting the home world? <laughs> because they've completely messed it up. How does that even happen? You know, they've just updated a beta. It's not like... You know, you've downloaded like their version of your game, <laughs> as if they've been playing your game for a little while and like, they said, "Oh, you can have it back now. We've had a little mess." Uh, wow, quite a significant change there from the colour of that to the colour of the unbeautified bit there. Uh, and is it just me, or those layers are a different colour? You've got this like, sort of shocking pink layers there and uh, stuff. So, right. Okay, so. Now that seems okay. Ah, we have flags. Wow. Um, well, it's not the size of the flagpole. <laughs> oh, about 400. Is that all? Oh, wow. that's a bit of a bomb. Only 400 
Okay. Let's see what happens when I. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Oh, now that's handy. That will. That, that tells you when. Wow, that was quick. Jeez, that was almost instant. But I think because of that, may be because just a normal follower was released from that about. Uh, also, when is that still a lodge while others have been updated uh, to a cabin? Something. Okay, uh, what have we got over here? Let's start. Oh, hello, we've got a bit more. Uh, bit more mons. Mind jamming things. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> the excitement! <laughs> uh, what's this? Okay, so that's a new shrine. Is that a shrine of expansion? Yep. So that's a new shrine which will literally just like uncover this little bit over here. And uh, the little bit just round there. The, yeah. Actually, probably not, but. Uh, Oh, okay. Um, I see that we have. Um, something under there. Ah, here we go. It's not that deep, so let's uh, discover. Is it one of the new cards? Yes. No? It's just a coal resource. Okay. Nothing too important. So, anyway, uh, here we go. Let's uh, have a look. So, we've got more. There's more to mine around there. More over there. There's more over here. Wow. I mean. And. It looks like. Something hidden under there. But what do you do? You see something hidden, buried deep. But there are gems all around that need mining. But what is underneath those gems? Just what do you do? <laughs> uh, well, that, that's. So that's a bit of a dilemma there, in a way, because you kind of want to dig out all this to uh, get to the shrine or whatever. Um, okay. Uh, oh, it looks like yeah, there's more coming round there. Uh, coming round the mountain. Uh, oh, excuse me. That's beg your pardon. Okay. Oh, looks like there's another one up there. It's, uh, that can be uncovered. Because... Basically, there's nothing... hindering it or... Uh, Needs. Uh. Oh. So it's apparently a bit deeper than that then. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that anymore. I can see there's a chest down there. Ah, 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 yeah, that, that will open up this area. Okay. Um, 
Still got those there. There's another card under there by the look of it. Uh, we have another area of stuff here. The head's still there, as you can see. <laughs> and what the... Oh, come on! Really? Who, who spelt that there? I mean, I know they've given me more, but... Who spelt my land? Uh, let's just check up on um, the little guys up here. Ah, okay, now. We can probably say. Let's get rid of the, the bubble there. That has got a slightly purple roof in there, that's slightly different. A blue roof, and then that's. Discolored roof because it's uh, get, getting night time. Uh, but by the looks of things, you've got a, a big flagpole there. So I wonder what that means. I'll check the lights. But for now, I want to go have a look over this way because. There should be something in the way of a shrine to expand the land. And now you have got to be kidding. So It looks as though Stonehenge Island, which I dubbed, if you remember, is still off limits. Uh, what's this chest here? It's another coal resource car! Yay! So, right. It looks like fine. We have more resource cards. There are a lot more to uh, dig up. But one thing it's not given. Well, some you need to dig up. Some you can just like <laughs> click like that. And it's another coal resource card. Yay! Um. Nothing too drastic has uh, has happened. Um, all right. Let me just briefly pause recording, and I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Sorry about the the brief pause there. Um, Oh, it's because I've just brought up uh, the web page of the the new books. Well, so you've got eight new resource cards to collect, eight new god cards, new unlocks to increase your area of influence. Well, obviously that's only a certain couple of uh, new shrines. Uh, unlock a new farmer follower to and grow your civilization through agriculture. Um, farmers will grow crops outside of settlements for the population. Crops are gathered to feed your population and advance your civilization. Choose the most fertile and efficient land for your crops. Now I'm not sure what that means. I'm guessing it might mean that you can select a piece of land, beautify it, and then use it as, uh, you know, for example, a if I remove these abodes and it would uh, use that land. Dynamic weather system where lightning storms will bombard your home world, damaging abodes not in a settlement. So, yeah. 
Uh, these poor folk here are susceptible to damage from lightning. That includes B. Plymer there and Amy. What I can't understand why these abodes don't have flags. They should have, well, they should have wild men in them actually, because that they're uh, special followers. Uh, sprogging centralised within settlements rather than on individual boats. Sprogging from a boat is only available when the followers have a job. Okay, so these people in these abodes don't haven't got a job. So how do you give your followers a job? <laughs> um, abodes inside the settlement now have second stories. Ah, allowing much greater capacity than if that explains the second story. But we we haven't got details of just how much belief and how many people in the abodes. I'm not not sure if that's uh, still a bug. Um, Let's see, multiplayer balance, new scrapbook hints, felt tents no longer produce belief and instead house more followers and a faster follower generation. Ah, could that be what these are? It's a cabin. But... Or, when... Earlier, when I did that with the uh, the wild man, uh, let him out, and they built a new abode. Could that be why the uh, the follower generated so quickly in the in the old abode? Uh, faster info bubbles, new god power icons. Followers share their thoughts and needs via prayers. Beam added to shrines within area of influence. Ah, that's what the big beam is to show you where they are. Uh, which is which is obviously a jolly good thing because otherwise you wouldn't know where they are, especially that one that's buried within all that uh, that mine. So, uh, da, 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 da. all battle maps quicker to fight, uh, totem rebalanced to reduce number of followers. Finger of God is now more effective. Town life is now more meaningful. New gem seems added to home. Right, okay. Uh, rebalanced trees and rocks. Not exactly sure what that means. Uh, uh, right, bug fixes, various crash fixes, fixes for crashes related to settlements. Beautified land will remain beautified after exiting the game. Ah, okay. Didn't realise that was quite. Uh, there we go. That's a fix. I am glad that I have fixed. Followers will no longer walk slowly on land that was previous blighted. Now, if you remember in the uh, when I was moving the wild men, uh, and hopefully having them walk this way, but instead they walked this way. Uh, what they would do is climb up this bit and how this land was what they call blighted, in other words swamped, before it was beautified, they would still kind of walk slow and a bit slow, a bit like slaunched, is that a word? Anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, right. Settlements will always generate belief. Settlements roads will redraw after abodes are moved. Followers on fire will die even when on beautified land. Well, I thought they would anyway. I mean, if you set a follower on fire, even if it's on beautified land, he would still die in here. That kind of makes sense. New opening flyover. Uh, shrines are now more distinctive. Believe game modified to be slower when game is shut down. Ah, right, because I don't know if anybody that's watched all of my videos so far, I don't know if you've noticed that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 
when I've re like restarted the game and I've opened the game new, all the belief has been there, ready above the houses, you know, to collect. And I thought, huh, that's rather handy. When you close the game, belief still generates. Hmm. But now apparently it will be slower. Full, full about now we're getting stuck in swimming. Ah, right, yeah. I don't know if you ever noticed anybody that's played it that when uh, you would right click on the abode and such as how it, how, it, how, it, how it now says ready, it used to say full. And when, oh, say it, it's stuck there. And, and, oh, let me see how red, that pink ready writing there is stuck. That used to be full. Like, well, it used to be the word full. Uh, I think it does go away if you right click on another one. Like so. But then that one sticks there. So if you right click on that one, let it disappear and now it's still there. Hello developers, are you watching? <laughs> um, hello? Uh, right. Uh, so the, the fixed one thing and something else happens. Uh, belief musical chain fail will not play after collecting only one belief bubble. I didn't re realise that there was a, a musical chain thing with the belief. Although I did kind of... Uh, Statue of Settlement no longer floating. Statue of Settlement destruction crash fixed. Fix for odd behaviour of followers uh, from settlement sprogging. Mining is now more significant to followers. As it should be. As it should be. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that then. Um, Uh, fixed followers getting stuck at Tauten. Fixed lighting on abodes and fences. Not that that's really that significant. I guess it's aesthetic. Uh, there's still some known issues. Shrine cards look duplicated. Land expansion shrine has now scaffolding. The thing that I thought, well, it's a known issue. Why is that an issue? Um, where was it? Uh, wheat is static in the wind. And I thought, well, does it really need to be animated? Like the flags. You know, do the flags really need to be animated? Because, to be perfectly honest with you, if you could choose to have them non-animated, that would help it run better on lower spec systems. Uh, I just want to click this just to show as you can see there it's the beta 1.3 aha uh -huh. yeah the 1.3.1.3.37 yeah neat you know what I mean uh, options yeah, da, 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 da. I doesn't really see, any, see anything different there how to play doesn't want to do that Oh, da, da, oh. That can I click before it disappears? Design mouse, is there anything new in there? There we go. Oh, you, you'll have to excuse the, uh, the thing there. Right. We have reworked every second of gameplay. Your experience in V1.3 is different than that of 1.2. The flow is completely different. It is smoother with less clicking. You will also find there are more times when you have lots to do in your world. Uh, da da da. Creating farms, discovering new areas. Because of these changes, we have given you the option to restart your home world uh, to experience the new flow. We would love it if you do restart, but if you decide not to, then your current save will still be compatible. Uh, full list of new features. Right. Flow completed. Recrafted with much less meaningless clicking because that was one of the things people would complain about, and I thought, yeah, 
Do you remember Curiosity? Uh, yeah, Mr. Molyneux's social experiment, which got people tapping on their screens for like hours. Don't complain that there's so much clicking in goddess. Okay, uh, enter the Bronze Age and Era of Agriculture. Twelve new Bronze Age advances, including farming politics and cartography. Eight new resource cards and eight new god cards. New unlocks to increase your area of influence. Speed up followers and cheaper settlements. Unlock a new farmer follower. Farmers will grow and gather crops outside of settlements to feed your population. A dynamic weather system, where lightning storms bombard your own. Sprogging centralised within settlements rather than on individual uh, abodes. Right, that basically means that's why there are now flags on individual abodes. Which is, uh, hmm. Abodes inside a settlement never have second stories. Yeah, they don't have that. Right, okay. Well, as you could see there, that was, uh... Oh, here we go, it's some more. Oh, okay, this is basically like what's uh, on the website. Uh, sprogging from abodes, only available when the followers have a job. Multiply balance so that enemy followers will not fight each other as you plan dominance. Ah, that's better. Because when you're trying to sort of get things going, build your population, get you know, get your people into certain positions, blah blah blah. If they happen to be within a certain sort of radius of each other, they would sort of attack each other. So that's that's better. Uh, new scrapbook hints. Felt tends no longer produce belief. Blah blah blah. blah. Follow share their thoughts. Be mad at shrines. Oh, this is basically what I read. No, uh, just so. There we are. That's that new gem scenes added to our mods, right? So, that's basically what's new. Uh, and it's like I said, this is the million dollar question. Do I restart or do I. Not. Uh, I mean, I, I've come quite a long way. Although my follower count appears to have dropped by at least a thousand, which I'm not quite sure why. Um, yeah, I mean, it would mean going through. Quite a bit again. Uh, I mean, obviously, they say they would love it if we would so. Right, okay, yeah, I know this card's been spinning for a while now. Let's click on that. What does it say? Manners. Did no. I'm not sure I had that before. Uh. Play. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, hmm, I mean, I, I, I have spent hours on this. I'm really wondering if it's worth restarting. I think it might be. I mean, a lot of people have said that they will restart uh, once the update is here. Shall I take the plunge? Looks like I've, I've come pretty far. I mean, I think we're talking at least like 30 hours. Let me just see what's under there. Yeah, well, I thought that was something else that they... they got rid of. That spooky thing. Also... Also, what... Is this some kind of Indiana Jones thing here? 
Let's get rid of the tree. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, mud bricks. Okay. That's, that's going to go towards stone cottages. And then you need one. Was that sandstone or something? See, I mean, I'm so close to like different. Things. Oh, I've clicked now. Ah, I, I really was contemplating it, and now, oh crap! <laughs> oh, bugger! I really was contemplating it. I was thinking, shall I? I should have just clicked on the card to have it disappear. Um. Bollocks. Never mind. I will just have to continue um, with what I have got. Uh, ah, here we go. So here's the new icons. Deactivate place totem. Ah, now a settlement. Oh, obviously, yeah, it's good enough because they got rid of that as a settlement. Finger of God. Ah, okay. They've uh, they've redone the icons, as you can see there. Oh, what's that? Temple of Healing. I've never noticed that before. Temple of Happiness. Statue of Fertility. Tornado, volcano. Da 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 da. da. Right, ah. That's what they meant by the new god icons being uh, new, changed, whatever. So that was a bit of a fail, wasn't it? I was going to restart and then, next thing you know, I go and click something and BOOM! Damage! Oh dear, 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 dear. Oh Dearing me. I could restart. I could just delete my save. <laughs> but, yeah. um, which I think I'm, I might do. If I just delete the save, obviously it will restart the game. Um, So, anyway, that's it. I will leave it for there. That's pretty much what's new, um, what I've showed you. Uh, I'm not sure how you get a new farmer follower. Um, I'm kind of guessing it's something you unlock with a resource card somehow. Uh, right. What about their pottery architecture mining? Champions from Samsung. Uh, need more owl. Pickaxe resource card. Ah, okay. So you can find those in the Indiana Jones type chests. Okay. Uh, we've got the uh, farmhouses, manors. But that's something that obviously will help with the Bronze Age because it's weaponry. And obviously, we're still in the primitive age. And what you got there? A silver thing. Silver gold. Ah, mahogany. That's what somebody mentioned somewhere. That's what somebody mentioned it anyway. Ah, those must just be the. Uh, 
the standard dog icon for chests now. Uh, agricultural icon, there we go. Uh, that, uh, that one looks like the farm, does it? Oh, no, that's politics. There's farming. We need to find seeds and pickaxes. Right, okay. So what's this one? Oh, debate. Well. Well, well, well. Shoes. Wow. Oh. Alrighty then. Oh. It's actually got my name there now. The Bronze Age of the Mentalis Camaratus. That was kind of the name that I gave the followers. Oh, well, okay, so this is... This is the Bronze Age. Reign of Purity. Use your mess to create clouds. To put out fires, boost your growth of crops and trees. Okay. Uh, what's this? Oh, idol. That's it. Golden idol. Ah, okay. What's that there? A small mineral deposit, an extra 20 gems. A follower plan. Ah, followers returning from battle come to live in your homeland. That's something that kind of just happens. Uh, ah, seeds are part of the Bronze Age. Right, okay. Not quite at the Bronze Age yet. I think I reached Copper Iron. Something like that. Uh, leather. Uh, papyrus. What was it? Ah, Copper. Oh, Copper itself. Oh. So, right, so these are. Uh, well, these. Those are resource cards. And uh, what do we have here? Specialised labour. Uh, Ploughs, well that makes sense because of farming. Uh, cartography, obviously that's writing. Terrace farming. Wow. That has a question mark though, so that's maybe not not available yet even with this update uh, so what we got there volcano ah, something I still need to put cliff sculpting 3 ah, so that basically means you'll be able to sculpt more layers on this one so that's a platinum on a large mineral deposit ah, what do we have here? granite Interesting, okay. Uh, what's that one? Oh, ink, obviously that's to do with the cartography. A metal how, of course. Yes. Because, what do farmers do? They hold the fill, hold. Uh, what's this? Aesthetics, another one. I, I think I already have one, didn't I? Did I have one? No, so uh, increased beauty of trees near, trees near about. Yes, um, the one that I unlocked, it was something to do with uh, the followers being happy depending on their surroundings. That was the other. Village. Ooh, oh, okay. Uh, salt farming. Right, okay. And town planning. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so what's this then? That you can actually place things. Moving of abodes or not. By clicking and holding, you can move abodes. Ah, right. That's pretty handy if you want to have uh, a distinct pattern to your about layout, you know, if you don't want them just all over the place, you know, you want them in neat rows, you can do that. And, uh, what's this one? A metal axe. 
rocks. Which means your followers will be able to chop down trees, I'm guessing. And platinum. Which, obviously there's no thing for that yet, because uh, it's unavailable at the moment. And that's it. So, let's just close the book. And uh, with that, I shall uh, I shall leave it there. And uh, and thank you for joining me. I mean, I, I've, I've done a waffled on for like forty five minutes now, but I'm, hopefully I've showed you enough of the uh, the one point three beta to. Uh, to get a, an idea of what's included and what's new. Um, I don't think there's anything else to show. Uh, oh! And now suddenly... Now there's a new plot available. Flags pop up. Oh, of course! The thing where it says the flags won't appear until the followers have a job. There's a job. If I click that one and that one. Um follower didn't appear oh. Well oh, really so just one follower. Why do they build it that pretty quick? Well, considering it's uh, just one follower, that's you know, quite handy with the construction there. Ah, okay. I got the <laughs> Makes sense. Really? <laughs> See? Da -da, look at all the flags. <laughs> as soon as the uh, little plot of land becomes available, up go the flags. But as soon as you click on one, they all go down. Because apparently, only one person is needed to build that abode. Ah, okay. Seems a bit unnecessary. I mean, you could just leave the flags up all the time. You know, it's not as if it's like an, an inconvenience or anything. <laughs> well, and that's why the flags are up on these. So if I click on there, here cometh the ward man. And click on that one. That's just a normal follower. But really? Yes? No? No he's gonna work on This is the thing I don't understand as well. All of these are special followers. There are, there are wild men in these abodes. So, why are there also normal followers? Wouldn't if, because each abode should just be a wild man. Or, well, the, this is what I don't understand as well, really. If you just put one wild man in a house, how the hell is he going to breed? For a start. See, and now straight away, boom, flag. So if I click there, out comes another wall man. As we go running over to... Is he going to go to this one? No, oh, okay. And now, I don't know if you noticed, the time didn't start until he reached that plot. 
Alright. Now, that's going to be the amount of seconds until... Cha-ching! They have breeded. And there are two out of two people in there. Alright. And maybe because of doing that, and there wasn't a pink ready, that's disappeared now. Uh, same with this one. Do dupe. And because that's uh, a special. Then da -da. The reason this space there with that plus sign that's empty because. I un what was it on? Not the, the, the old aesthetics one. The information doesn't show up on there just yet. Yeah. Right, so we click on there. Now, what's that about? Nothing, nothing, nothing. It reached the plot. Ta da! And there we go. And so I'm guessing that means it's going to take him just a minute to build that about. Now, that is pretty quick. Considering it's just one follower building one about. Hmm. So, uh, so yeah. What well, I'm not quite. Oh, but no. No, it, it, it would, that, that shouldn't affect it. Should I'm just thinking that when uh, the town. from here, from this, well, what used to be a settlement. Uh, how has that affected my follower count, considering that I broke 3,000? Uh, not quite sure why, no, I'm not sure, quite sure why that even stopped being a, a settlement. Basically, but what it does mean is that I can choose a better one uh, to gain more belief. I mean, such as this one here, there's going to be a hell of a lot of belief. So if I click there, kaboom! Well, I say a hell of a lot, not that much really. Though. By the look of it. Now let's zoom in. Do we get a number when I click the bubble? Hmm. Couldn't see one, so... It's, it's possible that they've removed the number from... clicking on a settlement, I believe, compared to that which... Um, you only get 400 for it. That has actually dropped 200 points since uh, since the last one now there appears to be flags up here but what job they have? well soon as I'm not uh, starting again sorry people let me just uh, Open this chest, and it's mud bricks. Okay, which is going oh crap! Which is going to be added to that one? This was the thing uh, some people have said is about unlocking certain cards at certain times. Let's uh, let's just get those working on everything rebuilding. Sorry, folks, <laughs> not my fault. Terribly sorry. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's probably a, a good tip. Is if you can. Try not to sort of get as many cards as possible straight away. Yeah, you know, try and 
just get a certain card. Mind you, I, I suppose you can't help it really because if you're just going to go look, mind you, mind you know, they're, they're just av normal average chests. You can't really choose. I mean, that one looks like one of those Indiana Jones types from there. Yeah, there we go. So you can't really know or choose what kind of chest is buried. See, I mean, that's just an animal furs one. So, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? It's uh, one of those things. I mean, that that one that I uh, uncovered happened to be... Uh, Say what's this one? Coal. Now what, I'm not, what I don't understand is I had I had a car that needed something like ten coal. So what I don't quite understand is why flags are up. Uh, on these houses, yet there are no jobs that they would do. Because if there was, the, these couple of spare uh, followers would have found them. You know what I mean? So... Right, uh, for definite now, I will uh, end this video right here. Uh, it's been going on for nearly an hour now. Um, I hope, if you've watched all the way through, I thank you very much. I appreciate it loads. Uh, glad that I could show you just some of the early stuff of 1.3. Um, Obviously, there's still more to discover, and once I've worked things out, you know, I'll still play and record little bits and kind of put them together, if you know what I mean. So, uh, so anyway, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Uh, join me next time when I will be discovering more about 1.3. So, for now, thank you and goodbye.